Hello and welcome to the Fusion Payroll course from ERP Web Tutor. And in this topic, we're going to talk about calculation cards. Now you can create and manage calculation cards at different levels from an individual person to a payroll statutory unit. Use the cards to capture information specific to a person or organization, such as an employee's tax filing status or an employer's tax identification number. Calculation card entries override default values defined at other levels. Now, basically, what we are talking about here is how the tax withholdings and uh, what kind of withholding where it's going to max out. So those rules are captured at the calculation cards. So that's what you define or configure using the calculation cards. And like I said, that you can define this calculation cards at multiple levels. So, so what are the levels? Personal calculation card. <clears throat> then you can define it at the tax reporting unit. Then you can define it at the PSU or the legal entity level. And then the calculation value definitions. This is the legislative data group level. Okay. This is not very common. But these two are fairly common and then you always have certain overrides at the employee level. Now this is the uh, in this is the how the priority is. So uh, so this is basically how things are going to follow. So this has the highest priority. This is the next next and then the lowest priority is the LDG level. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the personal calculation card later on when we talk about um, uh, what needs to be done at the employee level when we are ready with all the configurations. But before we get to that, the two areas that we need to focus on for defining calculation cards are the legal entity level and the tax reporting unit level. They look exactly the same. The configuration screens are exactly the same. Now, what you need to understand is that whether the client has different tax reporting rules for different tax reports, uh, tax reporting units. Okay, so do they? So if I and this is only applicable if you have multiple legal, uh, multiple tax reporting units. So if you have TRU one and TRU two, previously we mentioned that the whole purpose of having this. Uh, of uh, you know defining this as TRU1 and TRU2 is to uh, meet the criteria where you have to group employees in this two separate tax reporting units for different tax holding withholding rules. And then the other reason is if you have employees in Puerto Rico, if you have Puerto Rico employees, then this is mandatory. You have to separate the Puerto Rico employees in a separate tax reporting unit. But if your client does not have Puerto Rico tax report, uh, employees and the tax withholding rules are consistent within the legal entity, then you can you will have this structure. So you're going to have this legal entity and then you will have your LRU slash TRU. Okay. In that case, Based on the priority, we mentioned that if we define something here and we define something here, this will take precedence over the setup at the legal entity level. Okay. Now, in this example, we don't really need because the legal entity represents the TRU, so we don't really need to have separate um, tax, uh, separate calculation cards at the tax reporting unit level. Instead, we can define it at this level. There's no harm in defining it at the tax reporting unit level as well. But if you have this architecture that there's a one-to-one -one relationship, it makes more sense to define uh, the val or define the rules at the legal entity level. Okay. So tomorrow, if there's a need to define in uh, a different tax reporting unit which has special rules, then you can define that. The new one, this is the TRU2, and you can only specify the ones that that is different from the, the setup at the legal entity level. Okay, so the rest will 
accept the values or the calculation rules will come from the legal entity itself okay so that's basically the importance of the calculation cards now this is the uh, screenshot of the tasks that you can use we, we mentioned that you can do it at the legal entity and the uh, legal reporting unit level and uh, like I said, we have to, the setups can be defaulted at the PSU and we can use an override. So we mentioned all of these. Now, when you go ahead and create your calculation cards for the US payroll, uh, first thing that you need to add is the federal. So the federal will have different um, components, the calculation components. So you can see that so this is my federal my component groups are federal and regional we'll come to the regional later but this is basically the federal uh, so federal has medicare federal income tax federal unemployment and social security okay and then each of these will have the details in the bottom section so you have to first when you add federal all of these components gets added and then you have to go into each of these components and set the details okay so let's take a look so this is the this these are the different uh, calculation details for the federal income tax then this is the federal unemployment income tax and we're going to see what are the different options we have Okay, so this is for the social security and then we will see those in the application. Now, let's talk a little bit about the regional. Now, if the employer has employees in multiple states, then we need to add the states in which the employees will be paid. Okay, so in this example, we have California. So for this, uh, for the sake of this exercise, so we are only adding one state, California. And when I set this to California, you can see that under the regional, under the regional component, I have these calculation details. So state income tax. So let's say you are in Texas or you are in uh, Washington state where they do not have state income tax. So in those cases, you might not see certain component because that does not apply to that state okay so these are all uh, pre-built and gets updated using the vertex patch sets so for california we have the state unemployment state disability and income tax so you need to make sure that you add all the states that uh, your customer operates in okay and like i mentioned the components will vary from state to state so these are just the details of the different values that we have selected so state income tax you can see here state income tax the details are here and then similarly when you select the state unemployment these are the different calculation details that you need to define so having said that let's now go into the application and uh, configure the calculation cards so now within the implementation project, I can look for manage calculation card. If I search, then I can see that legal entity calculation cards and legal reporting unit calculation cards. So let me click here. This is the legal reporting unit calculation cards. And then similarly, if I go up, if I go to legal entities section, I can see that the legal entity calculation cards task. Now for this, since I already have my context set, okay, uh, I can simply click on go to task. But if I want to change this for a different legal entity, let's say I'm going to select this AM legal entity. Then I select that and click on apply and go to task. And then what I need to do is for this legal entity, as you can see that there is nothing, there's no calculation card. So I need to click on create to create a new calculation card. 
Now this date, set the appropriate date. If, if you are using the 1-1-1951, you can use that, that's the default date. And you will see this is the only value calculation rules for tax reporting and PSU. So use that, click continue. And you can see that it automatically creates the two groups, federal and regional. So <clears throat> when I click on federal, I can see Medicare, federal income tax, federal unemployment and social security. Now, <clears throat> in, in cases, there could be certain organizations who might be exempt from certain taxes. So in that case, you might have to set the values appropriately. But I'm going to select the, the the standard values, let's say for Medicare. When I select Medicare, this bottom section, it gives me the details. So normally we would like to have it as a self-adjust. So if something is not collected on a particular pay period, then it's going to withhold appropriate tax to meet that, okay? Now, let me select the federal income tax same way expand that supplemental tax calculation methods i'm going to use a flat percentage a tax withholding rules i'm going to select all states and should taxes be calculated based on period to date amount i'm going to select no federal unemployment And again, I'm going to select the self-adjust here. And also for social security, I'm going to select self-adjust. Okay. So once that is done, I can click on save. And then now I'm ready to add the states in which this company pays its employees. Your client company pays its employees. Again, for this, I'm going to simply uh, click on, uh, just select one state. So I can click on, uh, highlight the regional, click on the action, the plus, the create icon, and choose the state in which uh, your company operates. So we already have California, just to show you, let's select another state. Let's select Texas. And you can see that um, the income tax, the calculation rules for income tax, there is nothing here. The state unemployment, let's see. On the enterable calculation values. So all of these are let me first save it. I think then I will be able to, it's, you know, give me the options, yeah. So let me now click on the component, then it gives me the state income tax. So if I need to edit, I actually can click on uh, edit here, correct. And then again, normally um, for the state income tax, the supplemental tax, calculation methods, I can use the default method, resident tax, you know, you can, I can use the default behavior for this example, uh, all counties, and then city, I can say all cities. But this is something that you need to get from your client if there are any special rules, okay? So similarly, you can go to the other component, and then you can set the values for the state unemployment, whether you want self-adjustment, normally that would be self-adjust. And same way, you can save this, and I can go to the state disability, And I'm going to set this as self-adjust as well. And I keep uh, stressing the importance of this piece. 
is that this is something that you need to understand from your client if there's any special rules. Otherwise, you can use the default of the standard rules, okay? So normally what will happen is that you set the standard rules. Maybe the client also doesn't realize something. Then when you do the, when you run the payroll and, and compare the pay slips or the, the register, the payroll register, you will see that there are some discrepancies and there if you might be able to detect certain taxes that got incorrectly calculated or it does not exist in your client's uh, report, but you are seeing, then you have to come back and fix those uh, changes, fix those issues uh, in terms of the calculation card. So once we have done all of these for all the states that you, know, that you need uh, to withhold taxes in, you can go ahead and save and close. And that's basically how you can define your uh, calculation rules or, or calculation cards. Now, I just want to show you the navigation and just show you the similarity between the calculation cards at legal entity and, and legal reporting unit. Uh, I don't want to change the context. I just simply click on this go to task. That will take me to this page for this particular legal entity. And you can see that in the exact same way, I can select this thing and click continue and it's gonna look exactly the same. So the tax calculation, the calculation cards can be configured at the tax reporting unit or at the legal entity or at both levels. So I'm not going to do anything at the legal uh, tax reporting unit level for this. I'm going to use the calculation cards defined at the legal entity level. So that's all in terms of how you define uh, calculation cards. So if you have any questions, please post it in the question section and we will be glad to respond. Thanks for watching.